Hello, Sam Owens here, and <clears throat> I want to introduce you to my 2020 Countryman, uh, Mini Cooper. And uh, this has been on my bucket list for a long time, and I uh, finally got one. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about the uh, Mini Cooper and this particular model to help anyone that is looking for uh, a Mini Cooper and maybe this particular model uh, you'll be able to see some things that will help you. I am very impressed with it so far. One thing is I found that it will uh, share space with my 05 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's a large vehicle and it fits over on that side and uh, the Countryman <coughs> is going to fit on this side and notice uh, I have it so that I can get out of the Jeep on that side and the Mini Cooper on this and I don't end up uh, having a door banging in uh, to each other so wanted to avoid that. Showing the entrance feature for the uh, 2020 Mini Cooper Countryman and uh, first I want to turn the lights off to see the effect of the first thing you get when you attempt to unlock the, uh, uh, the Mini Cooper. Hold on. I thought this was cool. I know you can't see anything, but <clears throat> you probably see a little spot of light. I'm going over and uh, I'll show you uh, my um, little doggle that comes with it to, that allows me to open it keylessly. There's a button and when I'm within three feet of the uh, Mini Cooper, uh, I can uh, push this button and that's what I want you to see is that there's uh, door lights that light up and uh, that's why I had this dramatic effect and also you can see that the logo appears on the ground. This is the keyless entry right here and uh, the keyless entry comes with a little key right here that will allow you to gain access uh, to the uh, inside if you've lost this or uh, misplaced it and you need to be able to get inside uh, maybe the battery is totally dead and it won't work then this will do it and what you do is I'm going to show you how to use your key and you'll have two of these one fits in the keyless entry uh, doggle and another one you can hide somewhere on uh, the vehicle. That's what either way will go. There's a little cover right here that covers the lock location which will help you to unlock. To remove this cover and very carefully so you don't scratch the car, up underneath you'll see a little slot. You stick this up into the slot now it's got to be pressed a little bit hard there and then once you feel it come in then you can remove this little device then you carefully pull this out and there's a key slot inside of here that either way you stick this in there and then you unlock it there it unlocked and now I can get into the car uh, without uh, the um, uh, doggle, keyless entry. But I'm not going to be able to start it because I don't have the, uh, let me see it, it'll do. See, <clears throat> I cannot start or turn the vehicle on. But it allowed me to get access to the hood release that if it were a dead battery then we could get some help to get it charged up and then the doggle will probably work. So this is important uh, to gain access to the car. Uh, your wife's purse may be locked in there and uh, you don't want to leave the vehicle with that. So this is an important feature for your uh, Mini Cooper. Now <clears throat> to lock it again once you've retrieved the items that you want, then you can turn the key, the lock will go down, and you pull this out. 
you take the little cover and it only goes one way this goes toward the front and you'll see it it won't go but just one way you stick that in there push in take the key place it in the slot push firmly and there it is it's locked in position okay from a lot further away you can lock and unlock but to use this button on the side to unlock it you have to be within three feet here's the other thing is when I unlock this side it does not lock unlock anything else except this door if I'm at the driver's or the passenger side, then this will unlock everything from over there. So that's the difference. Uh, if you go to this side, it assumes there's only one driver and you're, you're, you're not gonna let someone else go in from the other side that's hiding on the other side. So a little security device. Okay, that's said and done. We're going to uh, get in the vehicle and see a few features of it. Check out the nice uh, lighting. There's lighting below in the floorboards and there's lighting along the door uh, in the door uh, openings for storage and uh, even the handles. So they do give you some nice lighting and underneath the seat has some lighting. Open the rest of the vehicle. Now, you may be able to see that under the seat is lights. Now, one of the things that we liked about the Countryman is the roominess of uh, a sporty looking vehicle with enough room to carry five people in it. And that was one of the things I wanted. A two door looks sporty, but it just doesn't accommodate uh, our needs so the countryman is perfect uh, for us to look sporty have a sporty drive and uh, to take some passengers when we have friends and family over so that's what led us to the countryman and uh, let's go to the next features now I like very much that it's a hatchback uh, and the door the rear uh, door opens up but here is the good thing. If you have anything in your hands that uh, you want to uh, open the door uh, without using your hands, you can just kick your foot under and it will open right up. And then you have a nice big storage area back there. There, you might be able to see some of it. And you have another little area underneath here that you can flip this up and gain access to a lower area if you uh, want to hide some things under there or for some additional storage. Okey doke. So there. And uh, oh, right here is something that uh, you need to be sure that you get. And uh, this is a tow hook, and uh, you need that. And it comes in a little case. Pray tell, if you ever had to have uh, your Mini Cooper towed, you're going to require this for them to gain access, because if you look underneath uh, your Mini Cooper, it is a solid uh, layer of panels under there that you have no access to grab hold of anything. Now, there is a, let's see, I, I think you'll be able to see the location. On the front of the vehicle and the back of the vehicle is a cover right here. And once you remove this cover, this goes in and screws in and gives access for the uh, tow truck or tow device to get you out of whatever position. This, get, this gives you uh, the access to towing the vehicle. 
not towing down the road, but getting it onto a tow vehicle or out of a ditch or whatever position you're in, you're stuck. This will allow you to be pulled out of that stuck condition. And there's another one of these on the passenger side uh, in front of the front bumper. So make sure that this is part of your uh, complimentary tools that they give you. Okay, it comes in a nice little case and there is a screwdriver in there also. Okay. And I'll put that back there and lower that down. Okay. Uh, now to close it, there's a place right here and also you can lock the vehicle from here. So there's a lock and a, a closure. So I push the button and down it will go and lock. Now I didn't push the lock so I can still get into the vehicle. So I like that feature a lot. I like the back, uh, the back look. I enter the vehicle. If I just want to turn the instruments on uh, or play the radio or do something without starting the vehicle, there is a start stop red switch right here that's flashing and I just push that and then everything is going to light up and then I can uh, work with the navigation system of the entertainment system and do all kinds it's going to select a driver you can place driver profiles in that have everything from the stations each uh, driver likes and the parameters uh, that they like that you individually set for that uh, driver so it's going to keep people from having to uh, with two or more drivers uh, keep them from having to change the station the preset stations and what have you it's tailored for each driver and uh, all of the parameters I've got only one driver uh, Sam and there's driver two, three, and a guest. So uh, that's enough to do the job. And I could uh, set the driver guest, you know, where they don't get anything. <laughs> Just get to drive the car to a parking spot. Okay, uh, this is a touch screen, so everything you do can be done by touch and to get to the different menus and also there's a, a selector knob a remote knob down here that I can uh, turn and do the same thing that way and then uh, select something like uh, and then I push and then vehicle settings and then uh, system settings and right on down the line so there's a lot of features that you'll need to go to the book and uh, just uh, try them. Actually, all you have to do is touch it, and it's pretty uh, self-explanatory, like a uh, mobile device. Uh, you click on that, and this is for the Bluetooth. Uh, my phone is a Kysera, and it's got my phone matched to here, so I'm already Bluetooth then. So I am still learning all of these and so there's a lot of stuff in here that I haven't done myself but I'm letting you see some of the features that uh, might be in there for you so you'll have to go through the same thing I'm doing and learn them. I just got it two days ago so <laughs> this is all new to me. but. Uh, as I become familiar with them, I may have a video that uh, details uh, some of these uh, features that might be popular. On the steering wheel is your cruise control over here. And here is your entertainment system over here. If you get a phone call, here is the answer button to answer the call. And uh, you can do a... Um, this has... Um, um, audio control in other words you can push this 
and it will respond to your voice. I haven't tried that yet, so that's another feature that uh, needs to be tried. And then of course you have your turn signal over here and your lights. And then on the right is your windshield wiper and all of the controls for delay and the wind, windshield wiper fluids is, is on the right. And then your light switch is right here. Uh, you can put it on uh, uh, auto is over to this position and it'll automatically come on. I have mine set to off right now. I very rarely drive at night, but uh, you can set this to whatever your needs are. And uh, the AC, uh, it has comfort control for passenger and driver. Each have their own um, individual settings. And uh, you have your main control for speed, auto. And uh, you have, um, when you have auto start and stop, that feature is uh, on most all cars today. And what it does, you pull up to a red light and it, if it's on auto stop, uh, which it defaults to, it will shut down the motor and give you an indication that you're in auto stop, that there's not a problem. And uh, when you let off on the brake, then the engine will automatically start and you're ready to go like it, the light turns green. When you let go of the uh, brake, it immediately starts and by the time you get your foot on the accelerator, it uh, is ready to go and has full power. Uh, if uh, you're at a long, like the construction site, and uh, you've got your air on, uh, the engine will automatically come on if the um, air needs to be turned on uh, because you, you uh, need the engine running to run the air compressor for the uh, air conditioning. So it'll cycle back and forth that way. But it's a gas and emissions saving device uh, that they've introduced. Now, if that bugs you and you don't like it, the many Cooper people have put us a switch right here. And when you push on it, it's right to the left of the start stop switch, the red one. And the end of it lights amber. And what, what it does then is it will not shut off at all when you come to a red light. So it deactivates that auto stop start feature. Uh, I thought I wouldn't like it, but since I've been driving with it, uh, it does appear that it keeps my gas mileage uh, really nice and uh, it hasn't bothered me any. So if you find it bothers you, you, you have the switch to uh, deactivate that feature. And I like the fact that they did that. Uh, uh, the shifting uh, is kind of uh, different than anything else I've, uh, I've encountered with an automatic. Uh, to get it um, into drive, you have to put your foot on the brake and you have a, a left switch right here that you have to depress and pull down and it will go into, uh, I take it, I have to uh, have it in uh, the engine running to do that. And I'm in my garage, I don't want to do that. But uh, if you want to go to reverse, you have to do the same thing. Push that switch and uh, it will allow you to move the selector to reverse. If you don't push the switch, it's going to stay in park. And uh, when you finish driving and you've reached your destination and you stop the car to put it in park, you just press the P from wherever you are and it automatically moves to the park position and lights the P on the selector knob. Okay. 
that's enough for right now. Uh, that'll give you some idea of uh, some of the features uh, that are in the 2020 Mini Cooper uh, Countryman. Okay, till next time, and uh, we'll cover some more things.